We're going to be creating a civil 3D surface using from an aerial 3D polyline contours and use some points, create some points too. First thing we want to do is isolate our contour data. If we go home and up here in the upper right we hit isolate and make sure that we click on all the contours that are in the right layers. Have a couple of depressions here. Once we get that done, then we'll go back over here to Tool Space, right button, and create a surface. We can call this EG. After we click on our plus on our EG surface and we go down to Definitions, we'll click on Contours and Add. Call these EG2. And we can select all these. And that should have created our surface. Now we have a few errors up here, and that's probably because we don't have a boundary or a tin boundary around this yet. In order to get our tin boundary, we want to go back up in the upper right hand area and hit unisolate. And now we can see that we have our surface and it goes out, extends out too far beyond our actual data, so we want to trim that back using a boundary. 10 surface. I've already drawn a polyline that goes around this whole area to save a little time. That's all you need to do is draw a 2D polyline around the area that you only want to include your surface boundary in. And go over here to your aerial surface and right button over boundaries and add. You can call it like BD1. Make sure it's outer and non destructive break line. And click on the line. And that should trim back your surface to where it doesn't extend out beyond the data that you have. So everything should be looking good. If you want to go ahead and label uh, some of the contours, you can hit annotate, add labels, and then under that, roll out, go to surface. I like to do single contour and then you can just click on your majors is what I always do and label your contours and keep on labeling as you see fit also if you want to add a couple points uh, spot shots that are on the arrow you can do that by going back home clicking on points point creation tools go to your left hand button click on manual and it'll ask you what location, if it's either the node or the intersection of where the shot was taken. Description, we can call it spot. Elevation will be what it is. And we can do another one. Spot. Okay, once you get these done, if you want to create a group, go over to your point groups and hit new and you can call these spot because you only want to include the spot shots in this group so you can go over to include tab and hit the first with numbers matching and I always select them in drawing and you just highlight the points that you created we created two right there and it should come up and tell you what points that you have and you click OK and now you've added those points to the spot point group and you can see them down here as well and out on your drawing in order to add those in your tin, however, you need to go back to your surfaces, e.g., and back to point groups, add, and select spots, and hit OK. And now you have three different information criteria that's going to be defined in this. We did a boundary, we added contours, and we added a point group. And that will usually give you a good aerial tin surface.